guys, it Hi. is Tiffany and Flora. Tiffany and Flora. <laughs> Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, guys. Flashback Thursday. Or no, throwback Thursday. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, um, we that wrap up our donut for today. Um, some food for thought is going to be about relationships and what they bring um, value to door knocking, and real estate, and just everyday life. Let me ask you this question: yes. What is the most common common feedback like when you door knock at the door and people tell mm -hmm. you, homeowner tell you? Oh, this is either. No, they got it <laughs> under control or I'm working with somebody. Hmm. Now, when someone's telling you I'm working with somebody, what do you do? Like, honestly, at the beginning, I try to get the information, mm -hmm. you know, who they're working with. But a lot of the time when people... Uh, say that they're working with someone um, it doesn't mean that like I feel like they either do not want to talk to us mm -hmm. they don't want to send us our way yes or maybe you know sometimes they actually working with someone yeah absolutely and ask questions too if they're getting if they're char get be being charged mm -hmm. you want to you know ask that question um, along with that I guess yeah um, so that kind of leads us to our homeowner that we've been working with for quite some time, almost two years now. Um, Are you talking about Patrick? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. He's such a like, Patrick, oh, the best our homeowner story. is such a classic example of our, um, you know, relationship that yeah. we have with him. Yes. I remember that I actually uh, don't knock at his house the first time mm -hmm. shortly I joined New World Advice Club, which is about two years ago. Mm -hmm. It's like your two year, like today. Yeah, today is my <laughs> two year anniversary <laughs> with Anwar. Woo! Woo! Drink your water! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Taking yeah. shots. <laughs> so, you know, the. Um, the thing that about Patrick, I remember when um, I first show up at his door, he mentioned that he had three attorneys that he's working with. One is real estate attorney, the other is probate. Probate, and then one with his mom from many years ago that's still going on. Right, and then two more other realtor. Oh, from different counties, like San Diego County. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Not a big deal. But we're from, we're local. We are, we have his best interests. So we're going to keep pursuing him because, because <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> exactly. And I'm so glad that we came back to be on it for the first six yeah. months. Uh, for actually, for me, it's like two years and four years. Yeah. It's like a couple months. Yeah. Uh, we keep coming back. Um, you know, our conversation is a like hi and bye. And yeah, so it's very short, not like answer the door and just say, hey, I'm working with someone. I don't need your help. And we're like, but we want to help you. <laughs> like, we're not taking no. I don't know why. We are n normally just persistent in that way. And I think that's the best way to be. Okay. Um, unless they really don't want you coming back. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, a couple weeks ago, um, he actually come to the door and uh, said hi. No, he was, um, he welcomed us in actually and he saw our persistence and he acknowledged that and he allowed us to talk about what we had to offer to him. Um, I think he was at a point where his other workers weren't doing anything for him or wasn't including him on the back, um, what's that word? Like the background of what's happening when, right. um, and I think that he wanted to know what was going on. So we got on the phone with his lender and we, that was a process because he was, was not authorized to talk because yes. the other people took his place. Mm -hmm. Anyways, now, um, now he invites us over. We go over, we've gone over maybe once we're still working with him. Um, going over we've postponed a sale date for him um he's jobless right now he doesn't have an income right now so we're just we're there supporting him sending him jobs i've like we've sent him a list of jobs that and offering to take him to those because he doesn't have a driver's license as well that he's working on he doesn't have a california <laughs> which with the process of foreclosure you need those things um oopsies that's my phone um <laughs> anyways Point being, back to it. 
I think that one thing or a couple of things, one of the things that I learned is, is that, um, you know, you cannot say the wrong thing to no. the right people. No. And when you are consistent going back there, um, you know, you definitely build a relationship. Yeah. And then when they are ready, um, you know, it gives you the credibility. Yes. Wouldn't you think so? Absolutely. And yeah. coming in with the knowledge, with bringing him, including him in his own situation is the best. Like homeowners want that. They want to know, not all, but they want to know what's going on. They want to, they want to stay in the loop with their sensitive situation. Um, so I, I hope you got something from this. Um, the main thing that we're trying to acknowledge is just be persistent. Don't be let down. Um, if someone's telling you they're working with someone, yeah, okay, that's fine. Come back in two weeks. Come back in three weeks. You know, watch that property. See where, you know, how there's, they're working. Because if they see your persistence, they see your face, they're going to open the door to you. Yeah. They're going to see what you have to offer. They're right. going to be like, what? Yes. <laughs> Speak it. It. <laughs> it. It definitely pay off. And yes, I think that one of the things that I uh, hear from Patrick himself is that uh -huh. you guys are so consistent. Mm. And there is so many people have been at his door. Yeah. Yeah. But no one as consistent as we are, and he can, you know, send that sincere. Yeah. So now he, he actually work exclusively with us only. Yes. I think he fired his three attorney yes. and his other two realtors. And now he is head on his, um, what is that? Uh, a, loan, a loan modification. Yeah, like now he's point, um, point of con, or I don't know what I'm saying. Like he can talk over the yeah. attorneys and the real estate agent who yeah. was representing him, mm. which is cool. So we hope this will inspire you guys. Um, Keep working hard and stay motivated, determined, and just go for it. Never take no for an answer because no is a yes eventually. Promise yes. you. No is a pending yes, just guys. Just keep that yes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys have a great Memorial Weekend. Stay safe, don't drink and drive. And we love you. Bye. Bye.